North Carolina is one of five states suing Frontier Communications. Yeah, the company is being accused of false advertising. The 50 page lawsuit accuses Frontier of charging thousands of customers for high speed internet, but provided them with slower service. North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein says close to 400 customers have filed complaints with his office so far. The relief we will seek is to have Frontier honor the terms of the deal that they negotiated. When they promise a certain level of speed, deliver that level of speed. But we will also be seeking penalties and restitution for customers. Frontier Communications says the lawsuit includes baseless claims and adds internet speeds are accurately described in its marketing. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprecia is joining us now to tell us how you can figure out if you're getting exactly what you pay for when it comes to the internet. Arad, everybody who uses the internet has complained at one time or another about the speeds of their service, but not everybody knows how to improve it. For many of us, the internet is just a thing that's there. We don't know how it does what it does and what it does for us. Do you know how to test your internet speed? No. Do you know if you're getting all the internet speed that you were paying for? No. Do you ever notice that your internet slows down? Yes. Yeah. The pandemic found us all at home, everybody using the internet all at the same time. When it comes to internet, how much speed do people need? The speed of the internet depends on what they do. A lot of people are working from home these days with COVID, so the demands are even greater than ever. A lot of your speed issues could be coming from your router. I recommend investing in your own equipment because oftentimes the the, for example, the little wireless transmitter that comes in the router that the provider typically provides, that transmitter might not be powerful enough. You also need to test your internet speed. Fast.com offers an easy click and go speed check. Download speeds of 100 megabytes or higher are considered fast because they'll handle multiple online activities for multiple users without major interruptions in service. The FCC also wants to know about your internet speed. They have an online app you download onto your phone or other devices. By using it, you test the performance of both your mobile and your in-home broadband networks. Meanwhile, more and more people are keeping an eye on their internet speed. Are you getting what you're paying for? Yes. So what you want to look for is your upload speed and your download speed, and you want to make sure it's pretty consistent for what, what you're paying for. Now, if you test repeatedly and you find your internet speeds are way below what you're paying for, you can complain to your provider. But you also have a legal avenue in this state, report it to the Attorney General's office, and they will investigate. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.